Yo, 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 what's going on? Tony from how to buy and sell your cars.com. Thank you for getting on tonight. Super, super excited about today. Um, I did not have a chance to email my subscribers. I am so sorry. Um, hopefully, a lot of you guys getting on the call tonight know that I do these every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central. Um, I'm so sorry that I didn't have a chance to make an email. I had, uh, I was just so busy, like cranking out some things and working. I didn't have, you know, 15 minutes to get into my email system and write an email and send an email out um, a few hours ago. You know, I usually send them out in the morning or midday to remind you guys about the training tonight. So super sorry about that. Um, please show me some text. Type in the chat really quickly and let me know if you guys can hear me. Um, as well as see me. I don't know what's going on there. So if you guys can give me some feedback telling me that this, you know, you can hear me and everything's all good. Give me some quick updates on that. Um, it's going to be a short night tonight, maybe uh, 30 minutes or so. I just want to kind of inspire you a little bit and talk to you about setting up. You can hear me. Awesome. 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 Uh, talk to you about setting up uh, a game plan on how to do 5000 a month flipping cars for profit and how that's really realistic. You know, a lot of people think that's a bunch of BS or it can't be done. And let me tell you something. The only limits that you have are the limits that you set up in your own mind. Those are, you know, that's the limitation. So if you, if you think you can't do it, you can't do it. If you think it's possible, then it's possible. Damn right it's possible, right? So you really need to think about that. I get just turning my heater on, on this, on this shoulder wrap here. Um, all right, quickly before we get started, um, good audio and video. Awesome, awesome. Before we get started, if you guys can just quickly type in where you're from, and I'm gonna do some shout outs here really quickly, and also how many times you've been on the show, and if you're a newbie, put first timer. If you're total new to the show, put first timer. And also, give me a quick like while you're on here before we get started. Give me a quick like. And if you can even share it with your friends on Facebook or on YouTube or whatever, share it really quickly because you know the more people I help, the more better I feel. I want to help everybody make some money in 2017 with this because it is possible, right? All right. So we got San Diego in the house. We got California, Daniel from California. We got OG Locke from the house. I don't know where in the house, but he's in the house. Charleston in the house. We got Australia. Awesome. Subscriber for over five years. That is awesome. Virginia Beach. Woot, woot. <clears throat> Ontario, Cal Ontario, Canada. Dalton. Every live stream so far. That is great. South, Car South California. VIP many times. What's up, Sergio? First time, Atlanta. What's up, D? North Carolina, Florida, five times. Arkansas, awesome, awesome, awesome. Again, guys, I'm so sorry that I didn't get a chance to send out an email earlier. i uh, just been super, super busy all day. I've just been, I was working until I got on at eight o'clock. I just set this thing up. So, um, excuse me. All right. So, who in here would like to make an extra $5,000 a month flipping cars to profit? Type in the chat, me. Who in here would like to make an extra $5,000 a month in their part-time flipping cars for profit? Type in me. Or I would. Us, me. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Excellent. Okay. How many of you in here has an extra hour or two hours a day to put into this. I think you could I think if you have an hour, you could you could get your feet wet with this and you can get started. Okay. Great. Awesome. Awesome. Because it really only takes an hour a day to find deals. And let me tell you this from the very start. Okay. You don't need Okay, a lot of money to get started, right? You don't need a lot of experience to get started. 
Okay, you just need to believe yourself that you can do it. Okay, and to make five thousand dollars a month, you could do this, and I would say two car flips. If you can't do two car flips and make five thousand, you're doing something wrong. I like to make at least twenty five hundred to thirty five hundred on each car flip that I do. So you know, some months if I want to, if I do four or five of them, you could do the math, right? So how do you make twenty five hundred dollars? On a car flip okay so the end goal is let's think about the end goal is to at least try to double your money okay and you can do this with flipping cars for profit you could absolutely double your money sometimes you could three times your money okay you get a thousand dollar car and sell it for three thousand get a thousand dollar deal sell it for four thousand what's up Russell from Tennessee ten thousand a month from Mauto here Mauto you could do it. So here's what I here's what I here's what I do. And guys, if you're starting at a lower budget, if you only have twenty five hundred dollars to to play with right now, I would say, you know, invest in a fifteen hundred dollar car or so. Okay, and double up. Try to get to the next level. So you want to the whole the whole idea is to double up. So if I went out and I find a found, found a twenty two say the car was listed at three thousand dollars and I bargained them down, you know, I pointed a few things out, I negotiated, got it for twenty two hundred. Okay, and this happens every day. All right, say it needed it needed a little bit of work. I put a hundred and fifty bucks in it. All right, say besides the work, it needed a detail, so I put another hundred bucks in it. Okay, into detailing it up, making it look good. So I'm in it 2450, close to 2025, 20, but the car is worth or 5500. Okay? You basically list it up for sale for 5500 OBO, you sell it for 5, and now you just turn your 2000 2100 that you invested 2 300 bucks in into $5000. I mean, you could do this all day long, and that's one deal. You basically doubled your money. All right, it's not hard to double your money flipping cars. And I feel the sweet spot is when you're playing with these $6,000, $7,000 car sell price range and below. All right, once you get above, you know, once you get above eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000 in that area, it gets harder to sell quicker with cash, okay? People got cash, 6,000 bucks below. They're looking for a cheap beater, something dependable. So your idea is to basically get cars, right, at a good deal, fix them up. First, you got to negotiate them down, fix them up, right? And here's another thing. When I, when I first got started in flipping cars for profit, I used to think that, you know, I had to get a car that needed a lot of work. So I, I remember when I first got started, you know, I bought a, it was a, it was a crappy car. It was a Chevy Geo. I think it was a Geo or something, right? I got it for like 400 bucks at the auction, four or 500. You know, it needed front struts and shocks. It needed brakes. It needed an engine tune up. It needed some interior detailing. It needed so much, right? And it really didn't need it wasn't the money it was the labor it was the work because i did all the stuff myself so you know i got it for 400 let's say i put another 400 into it right i'm in 800 okay and i know i sold it for like two grand i sold it for like 1995 right i made like a, a cool thousand dollars very very quick on it i forgot what year geo it was but it was a chevy geo i remember all right I sold it really quick, but then I realized like why do I have to why do I have to get all these cars that need so much work? You know, why can't I tweak the way I buy cars and get cars that need a lot less work? So, after a few deals like that, you know, and getting cars that constantly needed to be fixed, yeah, you know, going to the auctions you can get great salvage title cars that need framework and you do a little bit of that and 
you know, I used to get cars for three, four grand, you know, fix them up, do some body and paint, sell them for eight, nine grand. Good profit margin, right? But you have to put the work in to get that. But once I started to tweak the way I bought cars, and you need a little bit of money to do this, okay? You need a little bit more money to do this. Maybe if you have about $2,500, you're in that range, you can pick up a pretty decent car that doesn't need much but a detail, right? If you're buying and selling cars that really just need a cleanup and maybe a light tune-up, you're in good shape, right? Not like doing this and that and this and that. And I also talk about this on my three-part car buying rule. How many of you know it in here know about my three-part car buying rule? What are the three major parts of a car? What are the three major sections? Come on, guys. Yo, guys. I, I Adam, I hear you talking over there. What are the three major parts? You got the exterior, right, which is the body and all that. You got the interior, and then you got mechanical, and you got suspension. If two out of the three are good, then you go with it. If you got bad interior and bad mechanical, right, that's like too much stuff you got to do to make a profit. What are you doing? And I talk about that in my F1 book. Painting, go-kart frame, what's up? All right, awesome, awesome. So you want to break down your car like that. So if you're looking at a car and it needs a little bit of engine work and everything else is good, the body's okay, the interior's okay, then yeah, it might be worth getting into it. It's probably worth it, right? Or if you're getting a car, the engine is solid, no problems, the body's cool, right? But you got a little bit of interior work. Maybe you need the headliner done. Maybe some of the, the window, power windows don't work and stuff like that. So you get it and you do that little bit of work. Some cars, I'm going to tell you, only need a light detail and you're rocking and rolling, okay? Maybe even a buff job, right? You buff it out, you make it look good, and then you flip it for profit, okay? A lot of cars you can get done that way, all right? Awesome, awesome. So that's, that's my three-part rating guide for, for automo automobiles. Right, you got your three main sections: your body, your engine, okay, engine suspension, and then your interior and electrical. Okay, kind of broken up to that. You know, if if two out of the three are bad, it might be too much work for you. Right, one if one of them needs work, then not that bad. All right. What are you going to sleep? Okay, yeah, I'll be done in like ten minutes. Oh, 10 minutes. Mom said if I stay here, Mom says if I'm going to say goodnight to you, it's always going to stay. Make, be like I'm going to stay here. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So here's the free manual if you guys want to get it. Guys, hit like really quickly. Um. Yeah. You know, Jason, you don't you don't need to you don't need to do that, yo. <laughs> um Yeah. I'll just take that. <laughs> you guys are funny. Yeah, the hell. Yeah, exactly. Tony, if you can buff and do Tony's fifty dollar clinic, you're golden. Yeah, guys, the fifty dollar detail is awesome. So that's all I'm saying, guys, is try to focus on a done deal of 2,500 to three grand. You can get yourself a nice car done, ready to flip at 2,500 to $3,000, right? Of your money invested that has a value of at least 5,000 to $6,000 where you could double your money, okay? Ideally, 6,500, all right? Um, and that's, that's the way we roll. Ever deal with rust? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm I'm close to I'm I'm close to uh all right guys. I just blocked them. I don't tolerate that, you know. It's a G-rated show. I got my eight-year-old kid over here. She reads amazingly, and I don't need her over here reading, you know, weird stuff. 
like that. So sorry, Jason. You know, maybe next time, uh, maybe next time you'll 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 stay cool. What's up, Artro? How you doing, bro? James Valdez, what's the most profit you gained on a flip? Um, I did a classic Chevy a while ago. This is a while ago, but I made nine thousand dollars on it. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, just doing a flip. Uh, what could I pay for a one-on-one? -on -one? Um, it all depends on how much time, Jared. But for now, I would suggest you grab yourself the playbook right here, and uh, and you could you could see what I have to offer after you buy the playbook. So go ahead, get the free manual and invest in the playbook, and um, you'll have a chance to work with me. No, I don't do this for a living full time. I flip cars for profit on the side part time, make an extra you know few thousand a month. You know, I used to, I used to, uh, I used to do it full time, but now I have other businesses. You know, I invest in real estate. I have other online businesses, and you know, it's just the extra stream of income. I mean, maybe you've heard of me say this before, but the average millionaire has at least seven streams of income. So if you learn the skill of flipping cars for profit and you need an extra $2,000 this month or next month or you're going to go on vacation, you need some extra couple of grand, flip a car for profit and make a couple extra grand and then you, you're golden, right? You do that five times a year or even if you did it 10 times a year, it's an extra twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a year that you could generate on the side and have fun doing it. And this is what I want to get out. You know, it, it all depends on how much you want to do. It's not up to me to tell you how many cars you can do, right? My playbook shows you everything that you need to do to start making thousands of dollars flipping cars for profit. All right? Um, yeah, I plastic dipped my grill on my car and it looks awesome as well. I'll show you that. So, uh, you know, it's very, very, very doable. No, I don't know him. So check out my grill quickly. I'll show you my grill on my BMW really quick. Yeah, what kind of books? Um, if you want the special playbook for 37, you got to put your name and email in there, and then I'll hit you up with a special offer. Okay, here. So I actually did the grill on the BMW Plasti Dip. I cleaned all the chrome up with Brillo, quadruple O Brillo, and I plasti dipped flat my grills, and they look brand new. The whole front of this BMW looks brand new. It's a, it's a 2000 Z3M edition, and it looks brand new. I'm not going to lie. All right. Uh, you may want to try to refresh the video, bro. So I don't know what kind of uh, books you're asking me to recommend, but, uh, you know, that's that. But anyway, guys, I got to go. I got to go, man. I got to tuck my girl in. She's, uh, she's going to bed, and she came here for me to, to tuck her in. So I'm going to call it short tonight, 20 minutes, and I hope you enjoyed. Next week we'll get on for much longer. I promise I'll make it up next week. Um, do you think it's a good way for a 17 year old to make money? Absolutely. I started flipping, I started flipping 50 CC mopeds like this one right here when I was 13 years old. I started in the game at 13 years old selling these after quitting my newspaper out. I started flipping these and I was making at least a thousand dollars a month at 13, 14 years old. By the time I was 15, I sold my first car. 16, 17, 18, I was flipping cars to profit. My dad had a body shop, and I was making five, six thousand dollars a month as a teenager flipping cars to profit in my younger days. I'm 34 years old now, but I've been doing this since I was 14 years old, 20 years. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to sell the BMW. I like it. It's, it's all put together now. Um, it just needs a light buff and a detail.
Uh, there's only 38,000 miles on it, and it's a 2000. It's a badass ride, super clean, and uh, I don't think I'm going to sell it. I'm just going to keep it as a collector. In Japan, in Japan, there's a special paper, and then you draw on it and put it in the toaster, and it shrinks. And my dad draw the drew the car and used my iPad to take a picture with it, and then he used the iPad to draw it, and then it shrunk. I, I made my own BMW keychain. Pretty cool. Here. Uh, the LABAP card. I really want to copy the books and DVDs. Just want to stay white about it. Yeah. Um, you could do that if you want. Print them out. Not a big deal. Awesome, guys. I let go of the fear you talked about. Just bought two cars. I'm fixing them up with my brother and selling them by next week. That's good. You got that that cares that much. Hey, um, um, Carlos, keep me posted. Keep me posted on your flip because you can do it. All of you guys, you guys need to just take the finger out of your butts, right? Jump on, find the deal, right? And... <laughs> Buy the car, make a deal, buy the car, and flip it, and make some money. And I want to hear you guys on next week that you made a profit, all right? It's doable. There's money everywhere, all out there. More money for everybody. There's more money. There's more than enough, buddy, more than enough. All right, I'll see you guys on next week. I got to head out quickly. Mom's texting me. Looking for Maya. Are you are you texting her? No, 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 no. I said mom mom, dad will be done with YouTube live. In All right. Minutes. Thank you guys. Hit the like really quickly before you leave, and I'll see you on next week. And we'll talk about some more, you know, QA. We'll do more QA and we'll talk about your your specific deal and what you're doing. I want to hear your stories next week. All right. I want to hear your stories next week. Okay, next week's topic is going to be your stories. Let's talk about you. All right? Have a great night, guys. Hit a thumbs up, and I'll see you on next week. Cheers. Have a good night.